Hello everyone, welcome to Code Black's YouTube channel and in this video, we're gonna talk about one of the most hyped topics nowadays in Sri Lanka which is artificial intelligence. So, with the introduction of artificial intelligence degree to the Sri Lanka, it has been a big talk topic around the social media as well. In this video, we're gonna look on what is artificial intelligence, on what it can be used to, is this the only way to enter the artificial intelligence field or else what are the other options and what the works or what the job opportunities and what will we become and so on. So please uh, watch the full video and you will get a great idea and a clear clarification on artificial intelligence topic. Before going into our topic, is this the first time in Sri Lanka we want to learn artificial intelligence? No, no, never, never, ever. Because in Sri Lanka, you can learn or you can pursue your career in artificial intelligence from a long time ago. Because there, were, there are many, several paths to enter this field. And also, there are some degrees and master degrees which allows you to get a deep understanding on this field okay now before explaining you about the artificial intelligence uh, course pathway in sri lanka let me introduce and explain what is artificial intelligence to you which will give you a brief and a clear understanding on what is the field and how it works artificial intelligence allows to learn from experiences and adjust new inputs. Okay, what is that? Because intelligence in the sense like we with our experience and knowledge adjusting to a new situation and reacting in a proper way. So artificial intelligence gives the machine the same knowledge or a similar knowledge which we do use to think and react and respond to a situation so machine will automatically adjust to the new input or the new situation accordance to the data which was uh, given to the machine and the algorithms and techniques which was fed to the machines prior the field artificial intelligence consists of many subfields in itself so basically artificial intelligence is the basic or, or the bigger set which includes several subsets on it so the, basically the major one of the major subset on artificial intelligence is machine learning and what, uh, the other very popular subset of artificial intelligence is deep learning so what machine learning is and what deep learning is Machine learning is like we are feeding or we are teaching a machine with relevant data which occurred in the past and the machine will go through the data, analyze it and will take a decision through what the data is fed to it. But in deep learning, it uses some set of algorithm layers in which the decision is taken using the structured algorithm according to their given situation. So there is a major difference between machine learning and deep learning. And also neural networks is a bigger, is a major thing uh, under deep learning where it mimics the neural networks of a human brain where the nodes are represented as uh, neural, uh, neural nodes. In this case, it works in the structured layers where each layer has a set of algorithms and uh, according to the data provided to it, the algorithms will be used in a structured manner and it will produce a decision on its own. There is a major difference between machine learning and deep learning where machine learning 
takes decision with the data provided while the deep learning takes decisions on the algorithmic structures and the another major field is expert systems where machines are allowed to take decisions on its own uh, for a critical situation or a really important thing and also the other major field is like robotics and the automation which we all know it in the sense the machines which we created to do certain set of tasks does their task on its own without uh, many human interference now let's look on what can we do using artificial intelligence using artificial intelligence we can do many like miraculous stuff for initially uh, we can do image processing where we a machine can read and analyze an image or a vision which is provided to it and also additionally a uh, voice recognition and like voice commanding also comes under artificial intelligence moreover we can use this in supply chain in order to decide and design the path where the, how the supply chain works and also we can get insights on our business or works using artificial intelligent algorithm moreover we can do predictive analysis with the few past data and we can like predict and analysis what the future and what the future events can be and also we can use artificial intelligence in fraud detection where it can easily uh, yeah, detect fraud and it will be very helpful to us and also virtual assistance is also a major part in artificial intelligence because when we had a problem or when we have an undergo an issue the machine itself will respond to that situation and will be guiding us to sort out that if you are interested or confused of whether to enter this field or not let me uh, brief you some basic skills which you can check whether you have or not so it will help you to decide whether to enter this field or not so basically in uh, the skill which you need is critical thinking and designing a solution which is in demand so this is the basic skill which you should pursue in order to enter this field and also you should think out of the box and you need a curiosity what is happening and how is happening and how things can be done and also if you love max and science i think you are almost eligible and you can survive in this field if you want to learn artificial intelligence what will you study in this field since this is a subset of it world you will definitely learn about computer science and programming and also you will get a deep learning and understanding on data science and analysis with data structures and algorithm which is most essential in building algorithms in artificial intelligence and also you will be taught about digital systems and microcontrollers such as uh, which is used to build robots and advanced machines and you will learn advanced mathematics and statistics which is the base of this course so basically when you study this field you will deal with both it and data analytics with advanced mathematics so altogether you will be able to study these disciplines under this course now let me brief you what can you become if you study artificial intelligence so if you study artificial intelligence or 
if you want to major in the artificial intelligence field you can become a big data engineer or a data scientist artificial intelligence engineer or robotics engineer or research scientist mostly you will be dealing with artificial intelligence or data analysis and data science jobs in the field of IT. This is the brief and a clear introduction to a person who knows or don't know about this field. If so, where can you do this in Sri Lanka? First of all, I would like to say, if you want to enter this field, you don't always need to do a degree in artificial intelligence. If you are pursuing a degree in the IT, IT degree or a computer science degree, and if you can develop your skills in algorithms, data structures, data analysis, and so on you can easily enter to this field now let me brief what are the courses which will uh, allow you with a major pathway into this field if you uh, select the university of Moratova, you can do other cse which is computer science and engineering or the it degree in both of these degrees in both of these degree programs you can specialize in this field at the end and also when you take the University of Colombo if you study computer science uh, and further on you can develop as an artificial intelligence specialist if you are willing to do so and also in University of Peradeni too you have computer science and engineering through that you can enter this field similarly when you take the other universities as well if you do a degree which is related to IT or computation or computer science or else mathematical computations or so on you can easily enter into this field and also when you take University of Moratua it provides you to do a master's in this artificial intelligence if you have done any IT or computer or mathematic courses so clearly understand doing a bachelor's degree in artificial intelligence is not only the way to enter this field there are many other fields which is available in Sri Lanka so finally what I would to say is if you are really interested in this field you can choose the bachelor's degree in this course or else if you are pursuing a degree in the IT field this is also not a delay you can still enter and secure a strong place in this field by developing your algorithmic analytic and skills related to artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is a field which is a subset of IT and it is not solely what uh, depends on a single degree it has many other degrees which opens you the pathway into this field and also if you think what will be the future and the demand uh, on this field in the future I don't have to explain because there is no doubt the future is solely depend on artificial intelligence because artificial intelligence is a rapidly growing field so you can secure a job for you and also a place in the remarkable field in future as well thank you for listening if this video was informative and helpful to you all please subscribe to my channel and give us a like and if you have any issues regarding to this please let us know in the comment section thank you